What's up guys welcome to very first development tutorial of Android applications development. In this tutorial I will teach you how to make a simple app which says hello world. This is one and only Shrek's from SmartHerd. Now let's open our Eclipse. Let's click on Eclipse. Right now here again you have to provide the part of your workspace. I will create a new path. Right just click on OK then again hit OK. We get a welcome message, click on close. Now to make a new project you just have to go where, just click on file, then hit new, then after that you can see Java project is there and Android application project is there. Now this is our destiny, just click on this, right? A new window will open, it will ask for the application name, let's say first app, right? Now, now this is the project name, you can name as per your wish, no cross. Now this is the package name, we can give it a name, smarter.shrix, right? Now guys, make a note of one thing, this package name should be unique, like a website domain name is unique, your package name should not collide with any other package of any other app in the Play Store, because when you are going to launch your app in the Play Store, then this will act like your domain name, which will provide a link to your app in the Play Store. So please make a note of this, this always should be unique. Now. Here few stuffs are there like minimum required SDK, this should be actually 2.2 froyo. Then target SDK, make it the latest one, then hit on next, again next. Don't bother about all these stuffs, hit on next, blank activity, right, just hit on next, right. Here you can see activity name, main activity is there, it is all a predefined name, you can name as per your wish, this is actually your Java class. This is actually the UI components, these two layouts, activity main and fragment main, these are actually user defined layouts. You can name this also as per your wish, the navigation type, keep it none right now, hit finish. Now here you can see the two folders are created here, the app convert v7 and our first app. Don't bother about this app convert v7, it is a higher level concept which I am going to teach you later. Now just click open this first app. Here you can see loads of folders are there, one by one I am going to teach you all the stuffs. Inside the source you will find a Java class. Now this Java class just hit open this. Now by default Eclipse create awesome Java codes for us. Now maybe you are not getting the stuffs right here, what the codes are written here, no need to worry about it. Now guys if you are not getting this action bar activity here then please update your ADT plugin. You can update your ADT plugin by going to help, check for updates, click on it. If the updates are available, it will show the updates here. My ADT was already updated as we installed in the first two tutorials, so node updates were found. Click OK, right? I'm telling you guys to update the plugin just because the Google has just change the ADT. The latest ADT has many features so I am going to make my applications with all new latest features that Google has given us in the ADT plugin. Now guys when you create your first application if this action bar activity is not there then please don't worry about it. I will just show you how to add the blank activity, how to add this app combat v7 jar and also how to add this library into the workspace. Now first let me tell you while creating the project what you have to do, file, new, android application project, now let's write second app, fine, let it be shrakes.example blah 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 whatever, now hit on next, now again next, now again next, now here if you select this empty activity, now this creates a new empty activity, now if you select this blank activity, it is showing creates a new blank activity with an action bar and optional navigational elements such as tabs or horizontal swipe, whatever. Now if you select this empty activity then it's create a empty activity. Now let's check out what this empty activity stands for. Now hit on next. Now here inside the empty activity you are having two files. The first is a java file which is named as main activity and second is the activity main.xml find there is no fragments.xml. So let's hit on finish. So now guys this is our second app that has been created, fine. Now here 
this was our first app so let's close it this fragment.xml let's close it again now this is our activity main.xml of our second app and this is our java file now inside the java file here you can see there is no action bar activity we are having this activity fine so we want action bar activity right here so what we're gonna do we have to import a library in our second app so for that first it is always required you have to import this you have to import this library file from our SDK now how to import this if it is not present now just go to file here click on import now here inside the Android select existing Android code into workspace now just select it hit on next now after this root directory so just browse it now after this go to the drive where your SDK is stored as I told you always store your SDK in the drive apart from C drive so I have stored my SDK in the D drive so I will go to my path docs whatever important dream Android application development then Eclipse inside it I am having the Android SDK so open it now after this inside the Android SDK you will find the extras folder now open this now after this inside the extras folder you will find here Android option is here now open this now after the inside the Android you are having support again open this now inside the support you are having v7 just open this now inside the v7 we are having this app combat file so just select this app combat fine this is the file now hit on ok now when you hit on ok it will show inside the projects it will show project to import just select it and make sure you have checked this box copy projects into workspace just select it now hit on finish now guys here at the top you can check out Android support v7 app combat library has been imported now you must be thinking the file names are different so please don't bother about it guys it is all same fine its functionality is all same now go to your second application which was lacking the action bar activity just right click on it then hit on properties now go to Android now here now here at the bottom if app combat v7 2 library is available then you are good to go if it is not available suppose this is blank fine so just hit on add now just select any of it we have right now imported this Android support v7 app combat just so just select it hit on ok fine now again hit on ok now again guys till now you are not good to go again you have to right click on the second app go to properties now here you have to go to Java build path just select it fine now inside the Java build path here is the libraries tab now here inside the libraries we are not having app combat v7 now inside the libraries if you click on this dependencies then you will find android v7 app combat is already present here but if it is not present here then what you have to do now suppose if this is not present here then what you are gonna do you have to go to add external jars fine now here again you have to find the path of your Android SDK here is my Android SDK now inside it go to extras now go to Android support v7 app combat then libraries then here is the Android support v7 app compat just select it hit on open fine here you go here is your library now go to order and export go here now here you have to select it fine now when you select it then after this hit on ok right now guys you can check out here our dependencies has been saved here android support v7 app combat jar now here in our reference libraries also we are having this app combat v7 so now we can change this activity to action bar activity successfully now what we're gonna do now just remove it just type action bar control space
fine now here you will find action bar activity android support v7 app now just select it fine now here we go we have all automatically imported the package android support v7 app combat action bar activity so this is our required super class right so we have to remove this package remove unuse import just hover over it and remove it fine now so guys in this way if you are not getting the action bar activity such process you have to follow so this was just I was showing the demonstration so just close it close this also I think we should delete this application we don't need it as of now fine delete the project so delete the project content on the disk okay no props fine yeah we have removed it now again let's remove this also delete it let's lighten our workspace now second also let's delete it fine now let's open our first application main activity dot java and we are having what fragments main dot java right now now here I would like you to make some changes now we don't require this statement just delete this why I am doing this because all these stuffs like this function this function I am going to discuss not right now because it is going to give you a big trouble or confusion just delete this function also right now again delete this function now placeholder class again delete this now finally we are left with this main activity extends action bar activity now you just have to as of now deal with this any other codes just erase that now if you move down you can see bins folder is there library folder is there now the most important is the resource folder this resource folder actually contains all the stuffs such as UI contents images of the applications background images or music whatever apart from codes of the main activity whatever are the extra stuffs are stored in the resource folder in the driver folder we store images in the layout folder we actually store what we actually store our looks and feels of how our app will look as of now our app will look like this just double click on this fragment underscore main it will show the looks and feel of your app by default Eclipse has created a SWOT hello world this will appear in our application if we run it now we have another XML guys active in underscore it is actually blank now guys here I would like you to do one thing just click on this fragment then go to fragment main dot XML right here you can see some codes just copy all these things Control C and click this activity underscore main dot XML then go to this coding part here is the graphical layout which we can see here and here is the coding stuff just go here and replace this codes with the codes of the fragment underscore main dot XML right now what I want you to do is just delete this fragment underscore main dot XML because fragments are the higher level concepts and are used to make applications for the tablets not for smartphones for making apps for the tablets I will I will teach you later on in the downline tutorials so as of now we have to deal with this main activity and active underscore mail in main activity I'm having some error let's see no let's save it yeah right now one more thing guys I would like to show you in this tutorial just click on this values folder you will see three XML files are there now just open the string.xml right you will get some codes and you will see few string values are there now just go to this activity underscore main dot XML here you will see a text view now inside the text view here you can see a statement at the rate string slash hello world this statement is actually responsible to print the hello world in your app this at the rate string is indicating this this string in the string dot XML so when this statement is executed then this value inside the strings dot XML is called so hello underscore world refers to what hello world and exclamation so now go to this active underscore main dot XML 
now here you can see two tabs this is your code part now this is the layout your appearance of your app here you can see hello world exclamation you can see here this is how we are able to access the data hello world in our app whatever codes you are watching here in main activity dot java then this xml file or this string dot xml all these codes are very very simple i will explain you each and everything at present you won't be getting what these codes are what these codes stand for just don't worry guys i will make it very very simple in the next few tutorials you will understand each and everything that is written here now all these folders and this java file and xml file what this stand for this values folders menu folder all these stuffs i am going to talk about in the next tutorial so catch you guys in next tutorial this is shrakes from smarthood signing off